the question was the first question from this comprehension was compound H is formed by the reaction of option number A acetophenone plus pH Mg Br this is R Mg X this is a Grignard reagent X here is bromine and R here is pH now, if we carry out the reaction with this, uh, will you get H? This is the compound H. Now, if you carry out this uh, reaction, will you get, are you going to get H? Think about it. Uh, let me also think, are, you, are we going to get H? No, I think no. What do you think? You're not going to get H because this pH minus is going to attack this C double bond O. So both pH are going to come with on the same carbon. Here, both pH are not on the same carbon. So this is a wrong option. Option number B, what they offer is uh, acetophenone plus pH CH2MGX. So this is the benzyl group here, pH CH2. Now look at this. Is this going to give you the desired product? Now acetophenone plus this benzyl MGX, will it give H? Now look at it. Now CH2PH, this I can see here, CH2PH. This has attacked C double bond O that has turned into COH. And this is the acetophenone that we are looking at. PH, C double bond O, CH3. After reaction, it becomes PHC. This C double bond O turned into OH and this is CH3. So this option seems to be correct to me. Let's check out option number C and D as well. Option number C they offer is benzaldehyde plus pHCH2MGX. Now look at this. Now this pHCH2 is there and this pHCOH would be there but this methyl group is not there in this benzaldehyde. So there is one carbon less. So option number C will not result in H. Option number D. They say benzaldehyde reacting with this kind of Grignard reagent. This 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 trick you understand what this is, right? This is CS3. It's not shown, but you understand that that is CS3. Now check this out. Is this going to give you the desired product? Now now I suggest that you carry out the reaction between benzaldehyde and this Grignard reagent and then check if you are going to get this. And uh, let me rub this K. Let's do it. This negative charge is here. This is going to attack the carbon of this benzaldehyde. So this benzaldehyde will turn into uh, alcohol. So this is what you are, this is not what you are going to get. This is what you are going to get. There is a carbon here. But this is not same as H, is it? Now in H you see that you have a carbon and phenyl or methyl both are on same carbon and here you don't find phenyl and methyl both on same carbon. So D is a wrong option. So what we identified was B and B is the correct option or from which you are getting your answer. Fine. So B seems to be the correct option that will produce you H. Okay. Now the part, second part of the question asks the structure of the compound I is and they give four options. And where is I? This is I. So very easy. You just match the four option with your answer and then choose the appropriate answer because you have already identified the structure of i you just have to do the matching out of four options so i'm not writing the four options because we already know the structure fine okay the third part of the problem is the structure of compounds j k and l respectively are so we already know this is j and k i just rubbed out we know k and we know l so we're looking at the appropriate options. We will identify the structure JKL, not a big deal. 
So once you have identified all the structures, you can answer any problem. Fine. So this was the comprehension problem from IIT JEE. 2008. So we done it. We did it. It's easy, simple. So this is the maximum tough problem that you are going to encounter anywhere. And this maximum tough is, is simple, easy. If, if you know the basic mechanism, no problem is going to be tough for you. And you will be able to solve them very quickly. So Canizano reaction is done. I like to uh, discuss two more problems in Canizaro reaction and then we will switch over to another reaction. One of the problem that was asked in IITJ 2003, in 2003 they asked this problem. And they write here, it's a major product. And they have told you to identify the major product. And they given, they have, they gave you four options. And I will take the pain to draw those four options for you. All right, finally, I did it. Four options A, B, C, D, and you have to identify which one is the correct option. All right, first of all, identify the reaction. Which goddamn reaction is this? You have studied hundreds of reactions. So which one is this out of those hundreds of reactions? NaOH, 100 degrees Celsius, only base. Which reaction have you studied on carbonyl compound in which only base is the reagent? That is two reactions. One is aldol condensation and another is Canizaro reaction. This will not have aldol condensation because it doesn't have any alpha acidic hydrogen. So in absence of acidic hydrogen, it has to undergo aldol condensation and this NaOH has to be conch NOH, although not mentioned, but we understand that this has to be a conch NOH.